space for discovery, tranquility, and involvement for those with Alzheimer's. Today I'm going to show you an incredible garden. This is the Courtyard at Abe's Garden, a unique installation that is designed with more considerations than I've ever had to think of when I design a garden. I can't wait to share with you. The idea of planning for um, persons with Alzheimer's and dementia right. is um, very specific. So there's a lot of thought that goes into it related to, um, we met with gerontologists, we've done mm -hmm. a lot of research on precedent developments. Right. So, um, so many different aspects that are unique for that community that we really have to plan for, such as transitions from interior to outdoor spaces. Right. Older eyes need a little bit more time to transition. Right, I notice you coming out of a door, it's not like bam, you're outside. Right. You're, there's a little portico, you come there's a little the canopy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's, everything is so thoughtful here. It is really trying to pay attention to senses, uh, to really engage your senses mm -hmm. in every place that you can. So there's a little bit of sound with water, with the wind chimes, there's smell. We've really tried to introduce uh -huh. the idea of some fragrant material, tried to pay a lot of attention to the season so that we're getting a lot of seasonality with our plant material. Right. But we mm -hmm. also have really introduced a lot of color. Right. Kim, I love this space right here. This combination of big boulders and wood and it it's like a playground it is it's one of the ideas we've really tried to connect people to nature and so doing it here through recovered boulders from the site mm -hmm. a recovered oak tree and this is not just for the residents but really for everybody it's really funny what we've seen already is this was intended to actually be kind of na nature play right and so we see little children climbing on the rocks or the stones oh, what fun hopping from Stump to exactly. Stump. It makes it just a lot more fun, but it's beautiful to look at. Connects residents, caregivers, etc. with nature. It's, it's, yes. it's got so much texture. It this does. Really lovely. Fun to touch. You mm -hmm. can sit on, you mm -hmm. can stand on, you can jump around, and it just makes it uh, for a fun spot within the garden for everybody. And water feature, how delightful. Well, and one of the things we try to do with this garden is to really make it very elemental. So mm -hmm. it's kind of earth wind, fire, water. water. The water feature will have koi in it as well. Again, oh. the idea of movement and a little bit of color and a little bit of something different uh, for the garden. And you can even... And it's really intended mm -hmm. to actually get your hands in it. This mm -hmm. is a place where we never say no. We always want to say yes. So can I get my hands in the water? Yes. Can I splash it all over? Yes. And uh, open access. Can I go outside? Yes. yes. One of the great things I'm seeing here, Kim, is the ability for people to actually do things, to grow things that they desire, these terrific raised beds. If they want to get their hands in the dirt, we want them to get their hands in the dirt. And so this bed has been designed so that if you're standing, you have support if you mm -hmm. want to reach over and garden. Mm -hmm. If you're in a wheelchair, you can slide underneath and have access. And so what we've provided is that gardening to be able to be at several different levels right. here, and you'll see it throughout the garden, a number of different places. Accessibility is just amazing Accessibility, here. and it's uh -huh. everybody's not able the same. So right. sometimes you have a walker, mm -hmm. sometimes you're, right. you have nothing, sometimes you're in a wheelchair. Right. And so this vertical garden, which is in getting ready to get planted with a lot of the herbs, provides so many different levels I so see. that Three at whatever yeah. level you're at, you can get your hands in the dirt. Oh, that's wonderful. It's so easy. You can just roll along this walk. Exactly. And, oh, that's we always a, want to be able to say, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I see you've got in ground level beds here too. Yes. Yeah. You have to have a tomato in a garden, right? Oh my right? gosh. And, and bell, <laughs> bell, bell, bell peppers, for right. heaven's sake. And that looks like a little trellising over there on the yes, side. Yes, the trellis is for peas or beans or mm -hmm. cucumbers or any of those kind of vining wow. vegetables. So that. Get it at all levels. You can grow all kinds of stuff here. Now, I want to ask you about your plant selections because not only are you talking about seasonality, but also you ha there are other considerations you have to take into Very account. Very unique. Uh, yeah. Toxicity is one of the things that we really had to pay attention no to. No kidding. So we need to make sure that if somebody does 
accidentally ingest something, uh -huh. that they're going to be okay. It's not going to, yeah. What <laughs> you might not think about is a lot of those evergreens that we use a lot, boxwood, yeah. taxis, yeah. laurels, yeah. to some yeah. degree, yeah. really have some toxicity to them. So mm -hmm. we've had to change that up a little bit. Right. And here we've used um, some dwarf nandina, mm -hmm. um, Decilium, which is a newer evergreen. Right. Mm -hmm. Vintage jade is the yes. one that we've used here. Mm -hmm. And we've used a number of grasses that also add to some structure yeah. of the garden so that it's there still in the winter time, but we get some of the movement when mm -hmm. the breeze comes through. Mm -hmm. And I see you've got some nice flowering perennials and things too we have, for color and exactly. season. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's that idea of really trying to tie into season. Right. Kim, one of the things I noticed is how many sort of gathering areas there are that have been designed into this. Yes, and that happens at many of the different households. We happen to be right now right outside of music and movement. Right. And so the idea that you might do indoors yoga, mm -hmm. you might come outside, sure. do chair yoga or dance, mm -hmm. and then if you have a larger group and or more ambulatory, you might go on into the right. lawn. Oh, so I it really see. allows for a lot of engagement there. Mm -hmm. And then right over on the side, we have our fireplace area. Right, and another little, uh, that'll another be little nice. gathering area. Chilly to be able to... autumn night. Exactly, oh, especially be... sitting in that rocking chair. Mm -hmm. that's, where, that's where I would go. And one of the real goals at Abe's Garden is to make sure that every resident comes outside every day. And who wouldn't want to with a garden like yeah. this? But we're right now underneath this covered arbor mm -hmm. that allows that to happen. Right. You come out of the door, there's visual access to mm -hmm. the next door. And so it makes it very easy and comfortable right. to be able to come out take a walk, meander through the site, mm -hmm. and be comfortable the whole time. Right, yeah, and not worry, no matter what the weather is. No matter what the weather is. Yeah. And being enclosed like this, it's gonna be a slightly sort of microclimate, a little warmer, I would exactly. say. Exactly, being yeah. inside this yeah. courtyard. In, in the winter, it won't be so fierce. Yes. And these lovely plantings, they're just really, I see blooming dogwoods, and you've really given a lot of thought to the dogwoods with the mm -hmm. wind chimes yes. again always trying to bring in those senses mm -hmm. we have a number of different hydrangeas a lot of our ground cover here the right. ajuga the mm -hmm. lirio um, mm -hmm. several different hostas so we're really kind of trying to play with texture right and color right all kind of together right but one of our different places um, that we really wanted to remind you of home is our backyard grill. Oh, sure. And one of the things that you've noticed, we've talked about the herbs all over the garden. Mm -hmm. And those yeah. herbs- You're growing a lot of growing. food. That makes perfect sense here. Exactly. So those herbs wow. can be used in cooking, whether in the household, uh -huh. at the grill, in the kitchen. So we really want to integrate it. Oh, that's just really- Just the way you do it at, the, at home. Exactly. It's like your garden, garden to table. I think one of the things that I really like about this place, one of the many things, is how it's not an isolated space. I it, mean, that's Park Manor right there, it is, is it not? I and mean, we really highlight this courtyard so that from those balconies, those windows all the way around, you kind of look down into this space. It's a beautiful space. So right. why isolate it? Let you be a part of it. And I know you're putting in a roof garden up there. Yes, even. we have a green roof up there that's in the middle of just starting to go in, but that mm -hmm. also provides a great place for, again, uh, Park Manor to be able to be out right. on that terrace overlooking this garden. Sharing they have an the arbor. Space. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, being a part of the space together. How nice. Well, just the planning that's gone into this is just mind boggling. And, and it has been such a collaboration through the whole process um, with aging experts from across the United States. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, None of this happens without really a hand-in-hand -hand collaboration with our architects, mm -hmm. lighting designers, the interior designers, the right. structural engineers. Everybody had the same mindset for this. Wow, and cool. with staff, staff was involved every step of the way. Wow. I'm interested in the, the therapeutic value. It seems like there's physical and sort of emotional and mental components to all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, when people have dementia, often their short-term memory is gone. Right. So this garden will stimulate the long-term memory, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in the uh, sense of garden or just walking around, uh, looking at a water feature, which we mm -hmm. have. Uh, we also have a little playground, so if their grandchildren come, uh -huh. they can sit on the rocks and uh, jump on the, the logs mm -hmm. and uh, it's just, you know, a lot of different things. Make it intergenerational in that way. Exactly, yeah. which That's, is important. Yeah, it's to keep them connected to their family mm -hmm. in those ways, not and isolated. One thing I notice about this 
entire design is that it's got a lot going on, but it's all very sort of holistic. There's no like blind alleys or... And there's no straight paths. It's all loops around. So there's no, this is where you start, this is where you stop. It, mm -hmm. it continually goes around and people who have dementia won't get lost. It's a spectacular yes. space. What an accomplishment. Uh, thank you for all of us. It's been <laughs> yeah. a long time in yeah. the making and so well worthwhile. Oh, it's just, a, it's a delight.